Good morning, fellow car washers. I'm Shane Groff with Innovative Car Wash Equipment. I'm here to answer some of your questions that we frequently see posted on the internet. Our next question has to do with conveyors. Um, and it, it's a question that I've heard frequently, and it's a question I've heard from our own managers at the uh, car washes that we operate here in Albany, New York. And it is, my chain has popped off the drive sprocket when a customer isn't neutral or hit the brake or drove forward. So basically what happens is whether you have a spring or an air cylinder or air over oil keeping that's pushing back on the entrance to keep your chain nice and tight. Uh, what we've seen is sometimes is car number one is being pushed down the conveyor and it has a roller behind the tire and then has one or two backup rollers. Uh, the door goes up, the guy drives out early before the go light even goes green. And the next person um, looks up from their phone or whatever they were doing. It's like, oh, I gotta go. And they throw and drive. And right as the roller from car number one is going to drop down below the top deck, the second car hits that roller, pushes it forward which is collapsing your take-up system on your conveyor, creating slack. And of course, once you have that slack in there, chain can just, your sprocket's going so fast, chain just pops right off. That's a co common problem nowadays, uh, much more so than years past because people are doing stuff in the car and, and they just happen to look up, they see the doors open and they they just assume, oh, I gotta drive, you know, and, and they drive. So certainly, the uh, relax and go lights at the end of the car washes really help that problem. Uh, if you have a, an air take up on your conveyor, there's a couple things you can do. So that, that piston inside that air cylinder has to be able to work out and in. So depending on what type of chain and roller uh, setup you have, if your roller is bounded right to the chain, when it comes up onto the top deck, your take-up cylinder actually goes in a little bit because you're shortening the distance between point A and point B. Um, some guys and uh, gals, uh, I've seen them put check valves in there with quick exhaust, with needle valves, all different kinds of things. Um, and, and some of the manufacturers have these uh, air control items available that basically you want to you want it to extend as quickly as possible, but maybe you're just restricting how fast that air cylinder can collapse, so that you don't get that rubber band effect between the entrance sprocket and the uh, drive sprocket. Uh, if a person is just sitting in the waiting area, in the loading area, and they did not put it in neutral, they have their foot on the brake and a roller is going under the tires definitely uh, the chain should not pop off there. Um, you know, a few items you always want to look at when working with uh, conveyor systems with chains and sprockets. Make sure the entrance and exit are lined up properly, not off, not, not cocked one way or the other, that they're in a straight line. When, uh, if you're running a tooth sprocket on both ends, I highly recommend if you replace one end, replace the other sprocket too. A uh, couple other things, you know, just as your general maintenance on your conveyor, uh, as your sprockets wear, the pitch is different between the teeth. And if you replace the sprocket and the pitch on the chain is worn and wore out, uh, nothing's going to engage properly. So you really have to look at everything as a whole system how the, the teeth on the sprocket engage the chain, how the chain rides on the conveyor, and how both ends are lined up and working together because it is a full system. It's, you can't necessarily look at it as individual components. 